So I'm sure like many of you, we've gotten those orders back where we're thinking, what the hell just happened? Uh, this order is one of them. You know, I took the chance, I crossed some cards over for my collection, some heavily heavy valuable cards uh, that were BGS 9.5. And you're gonna see the results are very mixed here. Um, this order had multiple upcharges. It also included majority of the cards had some sort of chipping or damaging. See when down here, even just the side, um, you know, it shipped super poorly. There's 19 cards in the normal size PSA box. They were jumbling around apparently. Tons of cards are chipped. Pretty disappointed, but I'm looking forward to making the video just because I haven't had a good reveal in a while. I want to give you guys something to check out. Um, this order is loaded. I think every single card is serial numbered. If not, maybe like 18 out of 19 are serial numbered. Like it's something, all of them are pretty much serial numbered. A lot of crossovers to check out how we do and kind of compare. I like doing this just as data points for you guys, you know, sharing this because maybe you have 9.5s, you're bidding on 9.5s, prefer PSA, you're kind of hoping for a 10. You know, you kind of gauge for yourself what you think your risk tolerance is based on how I do here. Start off here with the first upcharge, which was a Tom Brady Ring of Honor refractor. Charged me 75 bucks for this one. And this is actually for a friend. Um, you know, he sends cards with me sometimes and helps me prep, local friend. Um, he's working on this set actually, his name's Andrew. So if you have any of this set here for this set, um, the refractor specifically out of 100, toss him a message on Instagram. I'll set his Instagram to the side here. It's a really strong grade here on the eight. You can see the off centering, you know, it's left to right, left to right. Um, so I, I kind of told him, you know, pretty confident eight here. Nine would be a big surprise, 10. Probably no chance. So yeah, I got an eight. And on an eight, we got upcharged 75 bucks, which I was shocked about. Um, haven't been upcharged too much recently, but you know, again, message, hey buddy, sorry. Um, you know, might be excited about the eight, but we're gonna have to pay it more. So that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Um, next, we have our second upcharge. And this was actually the first snap out and maybe one of the biggest in the store. You gotta stick around till the end because there's some crazy ones in here. Uh, but this is the 98 Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor Rookie Peyton Manning. Numbered out of 50, as you can see. This one was actually an older BGS slab. It was a 9.5 plus. So there was even a 10 in here. And I was super confident in the 10 because I have graded a few from this set and actually gemmed both of them. Um, so this one was actually cleaner than both I've sent prior. And I got a nine. I was so pissed when I opened the upcharge email because I saw this was one of them that got upcharged. I was like, okay, great. You know, got a 10, charge me 300 bucks. I don't care. Cause the 10s, I don't know, three, four, 5,000, I would assume. And said, Charged me 75 bucks for a nine. Um, so yeah, epic fail here. Fortunately, it happens. Like I said, this is kind of, uh, you know, said from the title, it's kind of the order from hell. There's some wins, but a lot of it, pretty frustrating. So that was one that was frustrating. And, you know, again, um, I guess like I try to share tips in these videos. Um, for me, I'm going to actually send that one back because I just so heavily disagree. I've had some luck with this sometimes. A lot of people will say they won't regrade a serial number card, but that's false. Um, I have gotten a ton of different grades, sometimes lower even, you got to, you know, you're taking that risk, but this one I just heavily disagree with. Obviously Beckett even thought it was close to a 10, BGS 10, so I'm going to send that one back again. Next, we do have a couple cool ones here. Mary Sanders, 1999, Bowman's Best Refractor, PSA 10, super stoked with this grade, just an eBay find, I believe. I'm numbered out of 400. At this one, actually, I have a Barry Sanders collector, a, a big collector, a friend, um, and he had a buddy who also collects that, was looking for this one. So a nice one where, you know, again, I send some PC cards. A card like this can go to a, you know, Barry collector there, and a, hopefully a fair price. He seemed pretty happy, and I was too. Um, and then, you know, help pay off some of the upcharge fees on grades that we're disappointed about. Next, we have another really, again, one I was super happy about, like I said, this order is all over the place. I thought these were both really confident. I mean, I guess the Barry had a good shot at 10. I thought this was probably a nine, um, you know, again, just with I think was corner or something or slight surface. I actually gemmed the Kelvin green refractor here, which again, actually very, very happy about. Numbered out of 199. Sorry, that's my fingerprint there. Um, this one, I will probably t end up tossing up on eBay. I do already have the gold. I typically only stick to the golds in this set. Just my preference. To, you know, you guys don't have to do that. It's just what I prefer. Um, so I'll toss up this green probably on eBay again to kind of help pay for some of these other PC cards, which I think we have a big run of them right now. So up next, we have the 2010 Finest Peyton, or sorry, Kelvin Johnson Gold Refractor. I actually like this year of Finest. I think it's one of the better looking kind of underrated years. Um, this one was a BGS 9. It's actually 9.5 centering the 9 across the boards. Super confident in a 9 just off of having graded this set in the past. Got an 8. So <laughs> like I said, this order... Kind of, I was just shaking my head. There's a lot of things that I just, I, I felt like a lot of nines got tens and a lot of nines got eights. So I'm not really sure, um, you know, what they're doing. I think I had like six or seven eights you're going to see. So yeah, I got an eight on that one. I'm working on the whole run for Kelvin, the gold refractor out of finest. Actually, this set completes that run. So maybe if I have a chance, I'll throw a picture up here. If not, you guys will see it in a future video. All right, next we have the 
really, really probably one of my favorite cards in the order besides maybe that Peyton is the 2012 Panini Prism Brilliance Prism Gold, a mouthful. Um, so it's also BGS 9.5s across the board. And this one actually out of the three that I snapped that were 9.5s, I thought this one was the nine. It had, I, I've been heavily discouraged by BGS 9.5s lately where it has 9.5 surface and it has like a scratch across. Like that's kind of what happened on this card. There was a scratch. So I just figured a nine, unfortunately, after I snapped it, was numbered out of 10 and I gemmed it. So again, super happy new up charge on this one. I'll probably not be able to afford the 2012 base prism gold. I think a nine of that is two or 3,000. Um, this is the insert. I don't know what this would be worth. I'm guessing maybe four or five, 600. Um, so much more reasonable is something I'll add to the collection because again, can't replace the card. I'm not gonna find likely another one, especially in a high grade like this. So pretty stoked about that grade. Like I said, there's definitely ones that were good, um, but a lot of them were head shakers. This one being another, so is a 2012 Finest Kelvin Johnson Gold Refractor. Got a PSA 8. Um, like most of these, are numbered out of 50. This one I was just super confused on. Again, I know this, you know, 2010 here and 2012 are not the easiest grades. Had maybe some minor surface, but off of my experience, that's 95% of the time you're going to get a 9, maybe sneak a 10, maybe slide an 8. And this one, again, everything that was close just got 8s here, unfortunately. So, yeah, this one did get an 8. I forgot to show about the damaged slabs a little bit, just to show you guys a little more. So this one you can see chipped up here and then chipped down here. There's just chunks missing out of the slabs. So it's just like I said, shipped super poorly. Um, I'll send this one back. If you guys ever had this happen, you can go to your customer service center and your account. Um, that's what I'm going to do and just say, hey, what the heck? Um, you know, take these back and they pay for your shipping and fix it. So again, 99% sure that's what's going to happen here. So I'll have to be without the cards for a little bit on some of these. So 2009 Finest Kelvin Johnson Gold Refractor. And this one, we did get a 10. So I was super stoked about this one. I um, actually had a nine. So I do this commonly. Like, again, I mentioned, I'm kind of going for the run here for all of them. Five and nine, I'll still buy a gold, if, a raw, if it pops up at a fair price or just, you know, on an auction, throw a price that I'm really happy with. Um, and then you get an outside shot at upgrading. So I upgraded here. Now I'll sell the nine um, and then help pay for this 10. So yeah, super stoked. Again, I think the out of the run, I have maybe six, tens or seven tens and a couple eights now, you know, with these two. But other than that, I mean, there's a super close to a full PSA 10 run, which I'll try to complete at some point. 2009 Bowman Chrome Kelvin Johnson Green Refractor. Uh, this one did gem. So I was super stoked about this one. Um, this These are numbered out of 99. Pretty good looking card. Bought it off of eBay, that sort of thing. So um, yeah, another one where it's probably in this kind of set, I would only go after the gold. So I'll sell the green um, just because not a jersey match or anything. And I just prefer the gold. All right, next we have our 9.5. This is again, a true gem plus Peyton Manning, Prism Green. This is uh, this one was shocking, I'm just gonna say, because I've graded this set a lot. Um, you know, this is probably one of the, simply one of the cleanest cards I've seen from this set. And I've got a lot of tens on this set with my golds that I grade. These are numbered out of 15, pretty neat. I think they were from like a national or something. I don't think we're, they were pulled from packs. And this one, we got a PSA 9. So another one where I was just pissed, man. I mean, honestly, um, these I'm going to snap. These two, 110% I'm going to be sending back to PSA, which say what you will if you think that's stupid or a waste of money or a scam, I guess. It probably is a scam that I'm having to pay them twice. But these are just, I'm not going to sit with a nine. I know they are tens. Again, after grading a bunch, you kind of get a hunch, you know, especially if you take notes on what you predict. And sometimes you just got to trust it. I've had a lot of luck with that where, you know, if you have the really shocking grades that don't make any sense and you look through the slab, can't see anything, Sometimes it's worth sending back. pretty cool ones again like i said this order is not all awful there are nice cards it's just the big pc cards i kind of had a, a drop the ball on here so the heinz ward gold x factor on a 2003 finest uh, this one's out at 175 again example where i really thought it was a nine um to be honest with you these corners are real tough i, I don't recall why but i had written a nine um so this one did get a 10 and then up next we have another one that i thought was probably going to get a nine um you know just because off the set how difficult these are uh, this is numbered out of 175, Drew Brees, and we hit the PSA 10. Really, really great grade actually on this one. Didn't expect it. And like I said, wasn't sure what the value is, but I, I think there's one that sold recently for like 400 something. So I was super pleasantly surpri surprised 
because uh, again, that just helps pay for some of these PC cards, the upcharges, etc. cetera. Um, you know, yeah, nice hit there. All right, next we have a Dazzle Kobe, uh, 2018 threads. Again, another one I thought was a nine. It had surface issues um, and this one gem. So it's it's shocking when you have those uh, cards that you're just so confident they get the nine and then, you know, ones like this get the 10. Um, I, again, I can't recall exactly. It's probably hard to see from the slab, but I think it had like, you know, surface print lines and stuff like that. But um, apparently PSA thought this was a 10. So yeah, great set. I love this one. Um, there's three jersey colors for each of the key players that are in this. Um, I, I think Kobe's obviously a huge name. This is kind of the last year they started making, they made cards for him was that 2018 and then a little bit in 2019. So that kind of thing. All right, next we have a Marshall Falk, 99 Finest. I have a few of these left here. Um, so this one I thought was the worst. I have like six of this set coming. I'm doing the Hall of Fame set. Same idea like I mentioned with the Kelvin is if I have an eight or a nine, I might still buy a raw and try to get a 10. So that's kind of what some of this is. Um, I have two Fox here. So I actually got a seven, um, which I kind of expect there's like a little wrinkle. But um, again, I don't send these unless I think they're nines or tens. So yeah, this was an epic fail on that one. And then the second one that I didn't think was you know, much better, if be if that much better, uh, got a 10. So yeah, you tell me the difference. What's crazy is this is a, this is how grading is, I guess, you know, like this one, and these are like air bubbles here, just so you guys know. But like something like this, you know, you might pay, I guess it's like a 80 bucks, 100 bucks. I don't know what this is, maybe three, 400. Just shocking. Like if you got rid of the slabs, what's the difference here? That's why I just, I, I, I don't really pay for 10s that often unless I have no other choice. But a lot of the times I just buy and grade. It's just a way more affordable way to grow your collection. Or I try to cross over and fail. I mean, that happens too, I guess. Um, next, I have an Isaac Bruce Gold Refractor. This one also gemmed. I'm super happy about actually both of these. Uh, just because, again, I had them towards the front. I thought they were not as nice as the other ones, but these got the two tens here on these two. Um, so cool pairing. I don't know if Warner's in this. Actually, I'm not th sure who the other Ram is, if there's even another Rams player in this. Um, maybe Terry Holt, actually. But yeah, uh, I wish Kurt Warner was in there. If he's not, that's kind of disappointing. Next, I have a Junior Seau. This one, again, I don't like the slabs. I mean, you can just kind of see it's just messed up. And I forgot to mention, but a lot of these are chipped, like I've kind of mentioned. I haven't shown a ton of them, but they're chipped on the back. Um, but this looks just looks disgusting. I don't know why it does that. This one got a 9 on the Junior Seau. And then we have next, uh, Marino. Um, this one, These are the ones, the last three, where I, I really confident in 10s because the corners were all nice. There was no whitening. Um, you know, there wasn't any weird, like, wrinkles or stuff in the back. And unfortunately, this one got an eight and also it is torched up. I mean, <laughs> you can see what happened um, when they shipped to me. I mean, it just got absolutely destroyed, unfortunately. And this will probably be uh, out of the three, I would possibly, I mean, I'm, I'm sending this one back because I'm salty about the eight and the cards damage regardless. Um, but I think these three I'll snap that I kind of showed. And then maybe the others I'll consider um, some of these eights because I just, you know, again, the grades are shocking to me. Same story here, Terrell Davis, PSA 8. Thought it was the cleanest. These two got the 10s, and then, um, you know, the one, these ones got the 8. And again, I've graded a ton of this set, so I'm pretty confident at this point. I'm not saying that to be cocky, but, um, you know, I actually really expected that those to get 10s that they didn't. That's okay. So for John Elway, same story, PSA 8. They love punching me in the balls in this order, but that's how it goes sometimes. I realize this sticker's for a different order, so <laughs> sorry. If you're looking forward to the SGC, I apologize. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a fun reveal, um, kind of all over the place. A lot of, like I said, just craziness, upcharges, damage cards, but um, overall not too shabby. Again, this point about the eights and sevens, but maybe we'll give some of them a chance again uh, and send back to PSA in the future. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you have a good weekend. I'll catch you soon.